Hi, this is Martin from Graphic Studio. Um, I've been asked to explain to you how to uh, create an alpha channel for the new Digital Matted albums, which I'm very excited to do. So I'm just going to show you what or how we get these effects that you've seen here. So first of all, we've got this bride who's kind of been cut out of an image, and uh, she'll have full white ink behind her, and she's on a black board page, so she should kind of stand off it, and it's a quite amazing effect. The one on the right hand side, this beautiful image here is a bride and she's in full white in her, in, in her dress here and you can see that the windows are white but you can notice that the stonework around her um, is actually a transparent uh, image where the gold of the paper is coming through the image and if I actually change the page colour, let's go for silver, you'll see that that actually changes. She's still in full white, the windows are still white but the stonework's now changed from gold to let the silver of the paper through. And just let's just change it one more time. Let's go for beige. And again, you can see that's happened. And this exactly works exactly the same with it on the left hand page. If I change for to something else, you can see that the page color changes and she's in full white there. So I can check where the white ink's been put down by pressing this button over here, and it just shows us where there's white ink behind the images. So we're gonna show you how to do that, and uh, we're gonna do it with this image here, one of Andrew Younger's images. Um, beautiful girl with a swaying dress. So we do this in Photoshop. So I just make sure that the image is selected. I go to this button over here on the left hand side where it says edit image in Photoshop. So I click on that and it launches Photoshop for me and actually brings in the high resolution image. Now normally I would spend quite a bit of time kind of cutting around this girl using uh, a selection tool and people do it in many different ways. But just for the purposes of speed I'm going to just use a very loose selection and I'm just going to use the, 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 the lasso tool. So I'm just going to come down to the bottom here and just quickly draw around. And as I say, normally you know, I would make a much, much better selection and probably feather it and things like that. But just for the purposes of this, I'm going to kind of very quickly, you can tell I've got a very steady hand, select around here, come around to the bottom and that will do. So we've got the marching ants now that we can see on the screen. So one of the things that you need to make sure of is that you can see the channels palette. If you're not quite sure where the channel palette, uh, channels, sorry, channels palette is, it lives under here in the windows. If you go down here and press it and just make sure there's a tick next to it. Sometimes it bobs away and hides behind one of these other pallets here. Uh, so I've just dragged it out to the screen so you can see it. So we've made our selection. The next thing I'm going to do with this selection is load it as an alpha channel. And the way that we do get that is go to selection, go down to save selection, um, and it brings up this save selection. This is the name of the image, uh, a new channel, and, and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to press OK. So you can not see now under my RGB, red, green, and blue uh, uh, channels, that there's a brand new one here that says alpha channel, which is actually switched off at the moment. If I switch it on, you'll see that it puts a mask on representing where the alpha channel is going to be. So if we now actually save this out, what will happen is that where the, the, the girl is, uh, because she's kind of a hole in the mask, we're going to put white ink down here, and the rest of the image, there's not going to be any white ink, so it's going to be kind of transparent, and the, the colour of the paper is going to come through. Some of the other things that you can do uh, while you're in the alpha channel is if I'm just going to deselect the selection, if you choose a paintbrush, and I'm just going to kind of zoom in a little bit more so you can see. And choose a paintbrush, reset your, your palettes here um, uh, so that you've got black as a foreground and white as the, the background. If I now use a brush, paintbrush, or you know, whatever kind of editing tool you want to do, I can actually, uh, well, one thing I should also say is make sure that you have the alpha channel selected, not the RGB. So as I start to brush now, you can see that I can actually paint in the channel or paint in the mask. So I'm using a, a Wacom tablet here and uh, I can start to kind of paint in where I made a very rough selection before and make it more detailed and make it much more feathered. If I make a mistake, I just spin the foreground and background white uh, round um, so that I can actually remove parts of the mask so I could kind of make a hole there if I wanted to. So I'm just going to increase the brush size a little bit so you can see. So I'm painting back, back in the mask. And, and what it allows me to do is kind of little difficult areas like this, I can just kind of scoot in there with a much smaller brush. And uh, make a mistake again, I just kind of remove that bit of the mask. So as you can see, we could have hours of fun doing this. 
and uh, changing the selection and kind of just brushing in where we want the image to be transparent in the background. So um, actually what I'm going to do now is save this image out. Uh, this one will be the one where the rest of the image is transparent and the girl will be in full colour with the white ink behind her. So I'm just going to go File, Save As. I'm just going to change the destination. I'm going to make it my desktop so we know where it is. And it's called Alpha B at the moment, but I'm, going to, I'm just going to call it Alpha 001 so it puts it at the top of the list when we find it come back to it. Now the very first time you do this with a new image it will actually kind of make a Photoshop document, it will be a PSD file so you just need to come down and select TIFF and as you can see it's going to keep the alpha channel I press save and then just press OK. So that is now ready to import into our software to have the transparent background but while we're in Photoshop I just wanted to explain how we can kind of get rid of the background if we wanted it to be kind of floating on the page as you saw before. So what I'm going to do is just reload the selection that we had before so there it is. So we can see now we've got the marching ants back and it's actually added um, the uh, bits that I've painted in as well into the selection which is which is really cool. But what I want to actually do is I want to um, inverse the selection. So I'll go to selection, inverse. So it's the rest of the image which is now selected. Forget about the alpha channel for a second but that's that's uh, it's selecting it on the image, the, the, the background. And what I also need to do is make sure for the next section that I've changed the uh, alpha channel for being selected to the RGB. Just click on this one here. And it's the RGB, the channel, and not the alpha channel that's selected. The other thing I need to do is unlock the image um, in layers. So at the moment, it's a locked background, but if I double click on it, it actually uh, makes it behave as an actual layer um, because we don't need the background on. What I do then is I just hit the backspace key on the keyboard and it deletes the, the, the whole of the background and uh, uses the feathering if we've got any feathering to do that as well. So now the background is gone but our mask is still in place as you can see. Uh, if I press that you can see that it's still there. So now we're going to save again this as a TIFF. So save as. Again I'm going to go back to my desktop. I'm going to pull this TIFF 002. Um, as you can see we've got an alpha channel selected and also it's it's saying layers because it thinks that this is a layer here which it is but as we have no other background layer it doesn't matter I'm just going to press save press ok and I'm going to minimize this and go back to our graphic software so what I'm going to do now is just select this image here and, and kind of get rid of it because we have to import the new files that we've created which as you remember I put onto the desktop. So I'll go back to import images, import pictures with finishes channel and here the two images are. So I can select both of them together just using the command or the shift key and press open. The software will create them as, as brand new thumbnails and they'll appear any second now at the bottom of our page. So here they are. So this is the one that we created um, with the background being transparent and this is the one that we created where the, the, we deleted the background. So I'm going to just make them single page spread so you can see and also with this one here, make this one single page spread. So as you can see the, the one on the, on the left hand side is um, where we kind of left the background in but there was the, the mask was applied to it so now when I hit the uh, ink the where the white ink is going to be, you can see how bad my painting was. But you can see that uh, where it's black is actually white ink is going to be added, and this is going to be transparent. So again, as I change the page color on the left, maybe we go back to silver. You can see how that silver is coming through. Or if I change it to um, white gold, you can see that the white gold is coming through. And the same with the image on this side as well. That we can kind of move her around. And when I change the page color this time, to say like that uh, that's where the image is and I can see where it's kind of rough uh, some of the where I did it for speed but with a bit of time you could make a really good job and that's how we create the alpha channels so um, I hope you have fun with it thank you